we're going to do is we're going to talk about contour lines. Now, to do this, we are going to be using a method called blind continuous contour line drawing. What that means is that we are going to be training our eyes to move along with our hand in what is eye-hand coordination. Now, if you've ever played a video game, which I assume most of you have, you have done some extensive eye-hand coordination. All that means is that we are training your hands to do something without really thinking about it as we look at it. So if you're playing a video game and you're thinking about like simple things like a Mario Brothers game where you're running and jumping and going left and right, our brain doesn't necessarily have to stop to think about doing those things. Most of you have already mapped out the PlayStation controller and an Xbox controller or Switch controller or whatever you have in your brain. So when you go to think about something, I don't have to tell you that the blue button is the X button on an Xbox controller. You already know those things, okay? Or the square button on a PlayStation. What you've done is you've trained yourself to do that. You need to train your brain to draw properly and you will be able to draw. And it's not that you can't draw right now. Using the controller for your video game system or just writing you know, in general, like writing uh, text is going to take more dexterity than it is to draw. What we need to teach your brain to do is not draw, but how to see. So what we need to do is when our brain sees something like a hand, it automatically goes in and finds the symbol for hand in our mind. And we end up drawing, you know, this outline of a hand, but that's not what we want a hand to look like. That's simply the symbol for hand. So what we need to do is get our brain to stop thinking in symbols and start thinking in what it actually sees. Now, there are lots of ways to do this. Um, some people will turn a drawing upside down. Even if you take a picture of a truck and you turn it upside down, your brain automatically starts seeing the angles and lines that make the truck versus just saying it's a truck in your brain and drawing the symbol for truck. So again, it's not so much that you can't draw, it's that you cannot see. How can we then do this? How can we train our brain just like we did have to train our brain in a video game? And it's actually, it takes time just like it did in a video game, but it's actually very beneficial and it'll last you forever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a method where we take a piece of paper, any paper will do, okay? So I actually did some practice ones here. And I'm gonna take that paper, I'm gonna just take a regular pencil this is just, a, you know, here's a HB number two pencil. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to push it through the middle of my paper and make like a shield. So once I've done that, it looks like this. Okay. And I'm able to put my hand under the bottom. And when I draw, I cannot see what is behind the paper like this. So therefore, if I'm over here drawing, I'm not going to be able to really tell what I am looking at. And again, that seems really silly and odd at first, but it makes sense. If you think about it, when you play something like a video game, you're not looking at the controller. If you are, you're probably not doing very good at the video game. You're looking at the screen. It's the same thing in drawing. When you go to draw, you're not going to be looking at the paper. You're going to be looking at whatever it is you are drawing, okay? So if we can get in the habit of that, it's very, very easy to get your eye-hand coordination down. Now, the easiest way to get your brain to stop looking at your drawing is to use this method that I'm gonna be doing. So we are gonna be making it so that our brain is blinded. We can't look at it even if we want to. And I do wanna stress that this isn't gonna come out looking great. It might not come out looking good at all, but what we're doing is we are still training our hand. So it's like the very first time you played a video game. You might've played the same level or the tutorial. You might've done this for hours. So keep that in mind. When you go to draw, if you spend five minutes doing this and you're like, well, I'm not doing it very well. Well, I got news for you. You're probably gonna need to spend a little more than five minutes to get good at something. So let's begin. What I wanna do here is I wanna look at my hand and find the contour lines. Now I actually kind of drew on my hand earlier so you could see it was black where the folds of my skin are and I accidentally wiped it on my face last period in a zoom but you can still kind of see those things so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my hand like this and the closer I look at it the better it's going to help me 
Okay, so if I hold it way out here, you know, you can't see that. If I hold it way out here like this from my face, I'm not going to see those details. And I want to get the details, the folds, all those things are what I want. So what I'm going to do is hold it right here in my face. Now over here on my, on my other screen, um, you can see where I'm going to be drawing. So I'm going to put my pencil down and I'm going to, I'm going to start right here on my hand, right here on my hand. So that means that I'm going to start over here uh, like this. And here's the thing. I am going to do my best not to look at what I'm drawing. And it's going to be kind of hard because I'm not holding my paper down so it might shift on me. Um, and I'm kind of spread, spread out here. But again, I'm going to try to look at my hand. And as I follow the line with my eye, so I'm starting, as my eye goes up and over the bump of my knuckle, I am trying to move my pencil slowly in the same angle. And to do this, the best way to do this is to set a clock. So I would say no less than two minutes on your first one. Now I'm going to go a little quicker just because it is a tutorial and I know you're watching it and you be calm. But right now, I cannot see what is happening on the paper at all. And right now I'm going in and out of the folds of the finger, nice and slow. I'm trying to capture even all those little bumps and wrinkles. I'm going back and forth. It's going to be a mess. It's going to look real silly and messy. Um, and again, I'm not lifting my paper, or sorry, not lifting my pencil, because if I did that, I wouldn't know where to put it back down. And I'm not going to do the entire hand. Um, I do want you to practice the entire hand, but for the tutorial, I'm just going to keep it moving. I'll do the thumb, and I think we'll stop there. So right now I'm on the thumbnail. I'm trying to go around. And again, I'm looking at it closely, and as my eye moves, so does my pencil. Again, even the little folds in the skin of the thumb on the knuckle, they kind of they don't go straight line. They're very curved, very nuanced little bumps. I'm trying to capture those. And... I missed a lot of the inside, but I'm going to go ahead and stop there, and let's just see how silly it looks. Ooh, it doesn't look that great, but this is what I was trying to draw. So again, you can kind of see where I was looking at the folds of my skin. In here, I have these two folds. Now, are they too close? Obviously, they look really too close, but you can see where these folds in the skin are happening. Now, my brain needs to think, when I went this far, I need to definitely go a little further. So again, as my eye follows this line, I should have made that line a little longer. So right here where like my nail is and this fold, this is a much larger space than I was able to capture right here. Um, even though it does start, it doesn't look, you know, it's not exactly what I want, but it's okay. And what I would want you to do is if this is your first attempt, you're just going to put a number one. So I know it's your very first thumb that you've done, or not thumb, but hand. And it also would help if you put your time down. So if you set your clock for two minutes, let's just pretend that I did, um, I would put two minutes. Okay. And what that allows me to do is I'm then able to see your progress. You should be progressing. Now, you do not need to work on this one anymore. Once time is up, we're not completing the whole hand. Um, you just, whatever you get done in two minutes is two minutes. The next one, I would add two more minutes. So double your time, go to four, and just slow down and try to go a little slower and get those details a little better. Now, you're more than welcome. You can just use the same piece of paper up here and you just start drawing up here. But again, do not do this. It will not work. You need to come in here with your shield so that you're blocking what your brain sees so that you can train your brain. Again, um, your brain is a muscle and this is the equivalent of lifting some heavy weights. So we could just sit here and do this and practice this um, and you would get a little better, but it would be the same thing as if I said, hey guys, let's just lift five pounds for the rest of our lives. We're not gonna get any more muscle mass. We wanna get stronger with our abilities. So this is like throwing a 50 pound weight on there and lifting, okay? It's gonna make you get better quicker. So again, you need to practice I want four of these, which is on the assignment, and each one you're going to be adding two minutes to. So by the end of it, you're going to be, I think, at eight minutes, um, and you should have enough time to actually get 
you know, down to the wrist. And don't do the same hand pose. You can do whatever you want for your hand poses. We're going to be learning sign language with these. Okay, so keep that in mind. Hold your hand however you want it to be, but don't do this, none of this, and none of this. Okay, because that's a symbol for hand. We don't want that. I want folds of the skin. I want you to look closely at the lines in the folds and try to capture them. So again, once you put your pencil on paper, you will not lift it or stop drawing until time is called. All right, good luck. I look forward to seeing some of these. And again, they should look kind of silly. So if you guys end up with something that you're like, oh, I'm not very proud of that, don't be upset. This is a training exercise. It's to, to get, our, um, get our abilities better for the project.